President Biden authorized another massive military aid package to Ukraine this week while he continues to fight historically high inflation here at home. Millions of Americans on the road this weekend for the Easter holiday are feeling the impact of those skyrocketing gas prices, especially. NBC's Josh Letterman is at the White House for us with more. Josh, good morning. Willie, good morning. When it comes to high gas prices and inflation, the White House is trying to shift the blame to Russia, calling it Putin's price hike. But a recent NBC News poll shows most people aren't buying it. More Americans blame Mr. Biden and his policies for rising costs than any other reason. Just 6% saying Russia's invasion of Ukraine is to blame. A year ago, the average cost for a gallon of regular unleaded gas cost 287. Now, AAA says it's up to 408, and the White House is scrambling gambling for ways to bring that down before the midterm elections. The Biden administration allowing cheaper biofuel to be sold this summer, tapping the nation's strategic oil reserve to bring more fuel to market, and restarting plans to lease federal land to drill for oil and gas. That step, a signal that Mr. Biden is trying to increase the domestic energy supply. But climate advocates are furious, saying it violates a pledge Mr. Biden made as a candidate and undermines his climate change goals. Willie? Josh Letterman at the White House. Josh, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.